Just Mercy. So Just Mercy stars Michael B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx. Michael B. Jordan plays a young lawyer named Brian Stevenson. He's young, he's idealistic, he has hopes and dreams, he just wants to help people. And for the plot of this movie, the main person he helps out is a man named Walter McMillan. Jamie Foxx plays him, he was wrongfully convicted of the murder of a girl. And he's not just in jail for it, he's on death row. Stevenson's like, it, is, it doesn't add up, so... We gotta get him out of there. Also, not only is this movie based on a true story, but it's also based off of the book, Just Mercy, written by Brian Stevenson, who's the person Michael B. Jordan portrays in this movie. All right, out the gate, we're gonna give praise for the acting because Michael B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx crush it. They're so good in this movie, and I feel like that's kind of a no shit scenario. I mean, we know they're good. They are good. They're great even. There was a point around the movie Ray and Collateral, I felt like Jamie Foxx was just unstoppable. Then at a point he became one of those actors where if he's in a crappy movie, I generally speaking still liked him in it. But his performance in this movie shows why Jamie Foxx is in fact great. It's an emotional performance. He has to play this guy who he's on the razor's edge. Hope? What is hope? He's a guy who was wrongfully convicted, sent to death row for something he did not do. All the evidence showed that he didn't do it, but no, nope, he's still there. Hope seems like something that would just taunt someone in that scenario. And he absolutely does show and express that in his performance. Also a movie with a very important message, which does not make for a good movie. I see that a lot. People are like, well, it's a movie with a very important message. It's a movie that asks these important questions. And my next phrase, my next thought is always like, yeah, but is it a good movie? Just Mercy is a movie with an important message that is also a good movie. Other than the great acting, the finer details of what they're uncovering, that really does keep you Locked in. They uncover one thing, it leads to another. They want to interview people. It's interesting to see the people they interview, the people who don't want to be interviewed. Thus, the corruption wheel. This actually is one scene. I gotta give props for this scene. There's a scene, without giving away too much, there's a scene where someone dies. And I have seen thousands of people die in movies, whether they be made up characters or characters that are based off of real people. I've even seen a few go out this way. But there was something about this. It's it's like I was experiencing ego death. Like I was having a panic attack. I felt like I was in the room and it was really uncomfortable, which is the point. It's supposed to be uncomfortable, but it's just, it was that real. So I gotta give props for that. I can't say that about a lot of movies, let alone a lot of deaths in movies. But that does point to the fact this movie is addressing important things and forcing people to ask questions, thankfully, in a movie that is also very good. Interestingly enough, I, I more wanna know about what happened to the sheriff. Like at the end of the movie, it being based on a true story, they have the excerpts of like, all right, this is what happened with this person, this person, that person. But this movie, and I assume the book, is clearly pointing a finger of corruption towards the sheriff, the sheriff, the department, all of that. What happened to him? Any repercussions at all? I'd like to know. I mean, shoot, I have the internet. I, I could look it up. But I was actually surprised the movie didn't address that. But in the end, the movie is solid, great performances, a little formulaic. However, I also stress the movie is very impactful. You take it with you when you leave the theater. And I will say Just Mercy is definitely worth watching and definitely worth buying on Blu-ray. All right, so Just Mercy, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.